that's the front wheel assembly, hub assembly, brake assembly. These are the old brake pads. They're not completely worn out, but they're squeaking like a heck. The new ones have a little pad, a bit of metal on them. Looks like a uh, thing to make it stop squeaking. So I'm still going to use a bit of this copper, copper grease. Now I've, I've done the dirty work already. I've pushed the caliper back in because that will sit right on top of the brakes here and squeezes the brakes in. So, so I'm going to put a little bit of copper ease on these, these calipers. Where is it? There they are. And I don't want much. Just a little thin coating. So I don't want it um, getting on my brakes. Now, cleanliness is next to godliness in brakes, but I'm really taking the shortcut here. Now, just a tiny dab down there on that pad. Tiny dab over here on this one. Where's my rag gone? I don't want to touch anything that's contaminated under the brake pads, even though I'm going to be hardly even touching them. So they just slot right in. See, there's a little clip here and a little clip there. Take the right one. Which one is it? This one will be... Now, if you're not careful, that, that little thing will pop off. So they just slide in. Get that first one in. Oh, that's the wrong way. Not gonna be any good that way. That little guy's a little bit harder to do. Try the top one first. everything harder to do with one hand there that's in not it's not a big deal just just in that slot that's all it is same thing on this one that one's gonna be harder to do with one hand but then there's two nuts I'll just take a little bit of that copper ease to two nuts the top and the bottom of this caliper it's a 14 mil socket take that off squeeze the calipers in Check that you're not overflowing up on the top. Put that caliper back on once you've got the brake in without kinking the line, which I did once this last time. And then you should be done.